I'm Dr. Aminu Mohammed. Um, I work with GI Care for Kids. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you about NG tube placements, its indications, contraindications, and what to expect when you're placing an NG tube in a child. This, this is um, a representation of an NG tube that we typically will use in patients for feeding. And there are different other types of NG tube that are used for other different other indications. First of all, we're going to talk about the indications of NG tube. We have therapeutic indications and diagnostic indications. Diagnostic indications include placement of NG tube to assess for upper GI bleeding. So if you have a patient who is vomiting blood or reported that they vomit in blood, and you did not see the blood, you could place an NG tube to assess if there is blood in the stomach. You could also place an NG tube in a patient with upper GI bleeding to assess the amount of bleeding. Another indication, another diagnostic indication for NG tube placement is for instilling contrast for imaging study. So if you have a patient who is un unable to swallow the contrast, placement of an NG tube makes it easier to instill the contrast through the GI tract. Another diagnostic inv indication for NG tube placement is that of assessing for gastric fluid. Then um, therapeutic indication for NG tube includes feeding. If you have a patient who cannot take food by mouth or for any reason is unable to take enough food to maintain adequate growth, an NG tube placement will help achieve that goal. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to place an NG tube at home. You start by lubricating the tip of the NG tube, having the child sit upright. And with your child sitting upright, you start inserting the lubricated tip of the NG tube through the most patent nostril by going perpendicular to his face. Advance slowly until you encounter a resistance. Until you encounter a resistance. This tells you you are in the posterior in the back of their throat. You then give the child the water with straw to sip. And whilst they sip, as they sip from the straw, it allows you to easily direct the tube further down into the esophagus. And whilst they are sipping, you push the tube down. Stop immediately if they start coughing, because it means you are probably going into their airway. Advance slowly until you reach the predetermined depth of insection that has been marked on the NG tube. You secure the NG tube to the tip of the nostril to prevent it from moving further down or coming back up. You confirm placement of the NG tube by auscultating at the side of the stomach using a stethoscope and simultaneously instilling air through the NG tube using the 60cc syringe. Hearing a growling noise or a loud noise of loud growling noise confirms placement of the tube in the stomach. Another way to confirm placement could also be aspirating gastric content and testing the pH using the pH strips provided by your doctor's office to confirm that the pH is four or low. So this part of the tube is the connecting part where you connect it to the feeding bag you know, the tube that comes from the feeding bag. 
and um, most of the feeding back connectors are able to connect to this. Sometimes you may encounter a bigger feeding back connector that will need an adapter. Your doctor will provide you with an adapter to help with this um, connection. 